Here's how to make your videos look like a rounded square in Camtasia. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so let me show you a different way of doing your videos in the kind of screencast recording video where you have, you know, the screen and you have your video usually on the bottom right. So the majority of the people have been using the circle ever since Camtasia came out with the circle feature where you can make your video into a circle. Everybody does the circle, right? Well, I like to mix things up and if everybody's doing the circle, I said, let me do a square that is rounded corners. So lately I've actually been doing this to stand out from everybody else. So here's how we did it. So this right here is a video editing project that I just already released. And so this is a already done video. And at the end of the video, I'm promoting my new course called The Profitable Reviewer. It's basically how you can make money on Amazon reviewing products. And it's honestly the easiest money I've ever made. So that's why I'm promoting this course right now because I feel like it could really help a lot of people. And so I've been documenting my journey to 5,000 a month and I've been creating these episodes. So at the end of the videos, you know, I'm promoting the course here and that's why I have the square rounded corners. And then I have this here, which is like showing the course. This is what the video footage originally looked like. So if I just copy this here and I paste it over here. So this right here was what it originally looked like. This is what it looks like when I'm filming just from the webcam. And then right here, this is what it looked like after, you know, I shaped it, I added the corner rounding and everything. The reason why I didn't just leave it like this and then I added corner rounding was because I felt like there's too much open space, right? When I was filming here on the couch, this was kind of like the closest I could get it. So that's why I'm kind of cutting out everything like I did over here to get more of a close up feel. Cause if I just had it like this and this was, you know, what was in the bottom right hand corner, which was kind of like, you know, this size, you can see here, this, I look more up close and personal with the screen. This is like far away. Like I look tiny, right? So that's why I cut out all that stuff. So let me just make it back to the original size. And this is what I did. So I basically click on the video that I want to make into my rounded square. And I go to the crop tool because we want to make it into the square first. Now it's not an exact, exact square. I didn't measure it or anything, but I just did like an eyeball thing. So I click the crop tool and then I start cutting off a bunch of the video because this is a rectangle, right? So I want to make it into a square. So what I do is I usually match up, let's say the end of my arm and the end of the video to make it equal on both sides. So I look to see, okay, how much space is between here and my arm? And then I'm gonna match that. Like I said, I just do an eyeball and I do it like that. Maybe I'll go actually a little bit more from this side and then a little bit more on this side. And there's a lot of space from the top of my head and this big painting here. So I'm actually going to lower this down, maybe over here. I'm just trying to recreate what I did and just do a little bit over here. And so now you kind of have it as a square. It's not a perfect square, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. More or less, it looks like a square, right? And then what you want to do is head over to the rounded corners feature which I have in my favorites and I always encourage everybody to use their favorites tab and I have here the the corner rounding and so all I want to do is literally drag this onto here and it's going to make the corners rounded. It automatically does 20 and it varies what it looks like on different types of media. So on an image, it might look really harsh and you need to tone it down, which means you need to turn the numbers down. Sometimes it doesn't look like it did very much corner rounding, so you'll need to increase it. But it always is default at 20 and you can lower it and raise it as you wish. So if I just click over here, this is more or less the kind of corner rounding that I want. If you do it 
more, like let's say 30, it'll look like this. And then you can go higher if you want. I typically do not go past 30, but let's just show you guys what it looks like. To me, this is too corner rounded. Everybody has their specifications, so you can put it to however you'd like. I get my corner rounding over here, and you can see I love to put a white background behind whenever I'm doing this kind of stuff. When I have an image and then a video here, because if I just have the black background, right, it's just going to kind of get lost and you're not really going to see the features. You can sort of see that it's rounded, but you'll see it more here when you have it just by the white background. And so because I have the white background, I love adding a drop shadow to give it that extra detail. And you can see if I take away the drop shadow, it's just flat. And if I add the shadow, it looks a little bit more like it's popping out, right? All these different things, different details add up. And then from here, I would finish with my color correction. What I usually do is I add a color LUT, but it made my skin too saturated. So I'm gonna lower that down. And then I'm gonna add the color adjustment. That's gonna make it really black and white and it's like super harsh. So I'm gonna lower down the contrast, I'm gonna raise the saturation, lower down the brightness. This is gonna be different for everybody, right? So it really depends on, you know, your skin tone, what's happening in the video. So you can see here, this kind of looks okay. This looks better, just rough ballpark of the coloration. If I turn it off, you can see that it's more dim and it's more gray. And then if I turn this off, then this is definitely, this looks totally, you know, pale and dreary and gray, but then we go boom, color let, boom, color adjustment, and now it looks more vibrant. And so then you would just obviously place this wherever you want. I would do these changes before you go in and start chopping and cutting everything. When you go and try and add this at the end, you might run into glitches and things like that. So I would do this before you start chopping up and making everything into many more pieces. All right, so that is how you make a rounded square for your videos when you're doing screencast recordings in Camtasia. If you thought this video was cool, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you're interested in checking out our new course called The Profitable Reviewer, where you can make money reviewing Amazon products, and honestly, this is the easiest money I've ever made online, head down to the description below as I will have the course link for you to check out what it is, how it works, and how it can make you money. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.